What's up, YouTube? Y'all miss me? It's been what? Two days. I'm hitting y'all with these videos back to back. Back to back. Back to back. Back. No, but for real. I'm ready to give y'all these tips on how to do this with this iPhone and this tripod and get your whole life together. You don't need no official camera. You don't need no official photographer, whatever the case may be. We ready entrepreneurs to join out with what we got. All right? So, I'm not recording with my camera today. I'm recording with my iPhone. I'm recording with my tripod. And we ready to do this. I'm ready to show y'all how to take pictures. I don't know how I'm going to do it with me trying to take pictures and record for y'all. But... I'm going to at least show y'all my tripod with my iPhone. I'm not going to be able to do it all in one, but we're going to get it or whatever. All right, so this is my beauty light, which you can always, I'll, I'll link it below how you can get the beauty light on Amazon. Also, I used to record with my beauty light only um, with my camera and with my iPhone, but you see the glue it was just getting bad it was getting horrible so i could not i i broke this whatever so we started you know working it out what we got let me see if i could cut my beauty light on you can actually um make it high and light and i think i broke it now i can't even oh no there you go i see it i see the difference do you see the difference no you can turn it low before you can turn it low or high and adjust it. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off so y'all can see the tripod. So, this is the tripod. And this is actually an iPhone or a phone tripod for my Android users as well. And you can adjust your phone however you want it. Or you could take it off and put your camera on there. It actually holds a camera as well. But you can do both. And um, the beauty light just works. Honestly, it's good because if you don't want to do it with natural sunlight, it all depends on if I make my bed up at the or my room is clean. If I want to do it in my bedroom. Or, um, and use my natural sunlight. Let me show y'all how that yeah. looks. But this is how I would do it with my natural sunlight. I will put it right here and this, and just sit the tripod right here and use the natural light to come in because I love natural light. Don't get me wrong, natural light is really good. I was talking, letting y'all talk to the light or whatever. I'm sorry. Um, but this is natural light. Um, I love natural light. Natural light is good. Um, I love natural light to take pictures. And when I take pictures, I'm going to actually let you guys come outside with me so we can take pictures with natural light just to know that um, natural light is a bomb with pictures. And also with natural light, you always have to make sure that you're like, if the sunlight, if the sun is right here, then the camera needs to be where it's at. The camera needs to be right, wait, how is it? The camera needs to be like this. If the sunlight is right here, the camera needs to be right here. Don't go away from the camera. You, I mean, away from the sunlight. So don't turn that way. Go this way. The sun always needs to be here and the camera always needs to be right here. Okay? And you need to be over there. So that's how, it, every time you take pictures, Every time you take pictures, so typically this is how it should so be. So guys, I'm on my way to take the pictures, but I want you guys to see the difference. So this is from the passenger side with the, the light that's coming from the passenger side. Um, and of course, you know, on that side is no sun. So this is from the front of the car, the front window. So, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can tell the difference from my side. So, I just want you guys to kind of see the difference. I actually have a meeting with um, an accountant. So, you guys could um, come with me. We're going to turn this video. We might just turn this video into a little a day in a life of BU. I mean, why not? 
Um, and I'm still going to take my pictures. So if she lets me like record some of the things that we speak about or whatnot, then I'll record it for you guys. So you guys can see what's up in real life, real business life, real things, real things is going on over here. But I still want you guys to see the pictures and how to take pictures with your tripod and your iPhone. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I have an iPhone X. So yeah, that's what we're ready to do. I'm on my way to meet with the accountant, but I still want to just speak to you guys and just tell you what's on my heart. Um, to anybody that's out there that's want to be an entrepreneur, um, really just start with where you're at and with what you got. Don't think that you have to just go all the way in. You have to have 100% of everything and an official camera and um, a decent website and packaging and like legit start where you're at. If your product is good and the quality of your product is good and even if the quality isn't good, that one supporter can can turn into 20 supporters. That 20 supporters could turn into 100 support, um, supporters. Go hard. Go hard. Go hard. It's so hard trying to be an entrepreneur and getting the support and seeing and making sure that you're all the way official and like just do do what you can because there's some people that's not doing nothing. They're not doing nothing. It's some people that's not doing nothing. Like, literally. And they're sitting back and they're saying, like, I wish I would have did this. And I wish I would have did that. And they still not doing it. And they have awesome creativity. And, you know, they not doing nothing. So, even if you're trying to start, like, just go for it. Like, who cares? Who cares what somebody else has to say? Like, I legit write down goals every day. And I do what I can to get to my goal and I still have hard times and I am my worst critic like I really put like the worst on myself I cry I'm mad I'm upset you go through so many emotions but you get to it cry and get over it <laughs> legit like that's that's a meme I think but that's for real like some days I just want to just ah! but I do that <laughs> legit do that and get to work nobody cares like for real nobody cares nobody nobody's gonna baby you they're gonna judge you and they got a, a lot of things to say but really like for real i mean this from the bottom of my heart start with what you have start with what you have because if you don't you and it's 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 okay to fail it's okay to fail and um yeah it's, that's just my message i just had that on my heart and i really just wanted to tell you guys like start with what you got and it's okay to fail and you don't have to worry about what people say so, um here at Prenier bread i posted me her at Prenier bread but before i actually meet with her um i'm gonna go ahead and take the pictures first um so we gotta find the spot first and make sure again the sunlight is good so we can get some nice natural light pictures um, I always put my tripod in the back, stretch it out, because I don't feel like folding it, unfolding it, and get to it. In different places, so make sure you wipe your camera off always with the cloth, with your t-shirt, whatever the case may be, I don't care. You can always turn your, turn your iPod, um, your tripod, excuse me, either way, but if you're going to do it horizontal, you can do it that way. If you're going to do it vertical, you're going to do it that way. But we we'll may have to do this vertical, being that um, that's the only way it will fit on the screen um, on YouTube. Long ways. So, sit it wherever you're going to sit it at. Right now, the sun is right there. So, of course, we're going to do it where the sun is and face it that way. All right. Thank you. I hate going places taking pictures anywhere because people act like they never seen people take pictures before and everybody acts delusional and boys try to talk to you it's just so irritating we're gonna do this or whatever remember i'm doing this for y'all <laughs>
Oh, also remember that there's a self timer and that's how I would take my pictures typically. So I would do it for 10 seconds or three seconds. Either or, if I'm in a rush, like right now, I do it for three so I can just get it over with. Start charging sales tax on the cut on client the customers whenever they receive a product from you, and then from that we'll take those expenses and we'll put them in private expenses. The sales tax account we're gonna separate something on the QuickBooks software. So they automatically do it for you. They automatically do you for you, but what you they're not, they're, they're not gonna pay it. Okay. So we still have to pay it, but what, it's just going to tally it, give you an overall number for the month. Will I add my PayPal and my Shopify on, Correct. on yeah. the QuickBooks? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, but, you know, PayPal and Shopify are coming from your Shopify account. Right. Yeah. Okay, so no. But I can still log into it separately then. Okay, so yeah. So we can add right, both of them, but we don't want to double count um, those. The Shopify and the PayPal. Exactly. It's separate though. It is separate. Like some okay. people can go to the website and you know how you may have a PayPal account? Like you can put your PayPal information in and then all of that in all of that income will go to my PayPal account. Okay. So but my Shopify, if you pay with a debit or credit card, it stays on my Shopify mm -hmm. and it pays out to me to the bank account. Okay, so Shopify is like the hub for all of your orders. Though, orders, right? yeah. Yeah, so we can just use the Shopify for your sales tax. Because okay. that's going to give you everything. Okay. Versus PayPal is really only going to give you the orders that didn't come from credit card okay. or um, debit card. All right, all right, I get it. Yeah, and uh, we're going to do profit and loss, and we're also going to do budget. So that's pretty much an overview. I'm going to send you over this uh, service agreement. What's up guys? So I'm back from taking pictures and meeting with my accountant. Um, so it was hot. It was so hot out there, but I was able to get it done and pull through for you guys. I typically wouldn't take pictures in an open space like that only because because there was a lot of businesses around only because um, people tend to want to keep asking you questions. Guys want to say things to you. Um, it's just all the attention and it's so irritating. So I try to just not be like where businesses are at or whatnot. Um, but it is what it is. I wanted to do it for the video. So I was meeting her there at Panera Bread. So I just went on and did it. Um, but whatever the case may be. Um, oh, and about the accountant. Um, I'll link her Instagram down below if you want to meet with an accountant and you don't have one. You can always meet with her. She's real cool. Um, also, um, if you don't know when you need an accountant, um, you can always build a brand with me. I'll link that down below as well. It's on my website. And I can always um, help you to let you know when is the perfect time to get a PR, get an accountant, ways you can do it yourself so you won't have to spend so much money, um, and ways to promote, marketing strategies, all of that information I help you with. Um, and I'll link that below as well. Um, but also, I just wanted to let you guys in on a day-to-day -day basis with me. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to do some orders that I got while I was in the meetings and taking the pictures. Um, and also, I have an event tomorrow um, to attend. I'm, I'm doing a vendor. I'm going to be a vendor at an um, event. I might um, give you guys some insight on the event as well, just the day-to-day -day life on how I actually get the events done. So you could come with me with that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys got um, a lot of information out of this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you want more videos like this. And um, like and comment down below. 
I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> I'm trying to do all of this at once. I need to get off the camera, honestly, for real. Um, but I hope this video was good. Um, I really want you entrepreneurs out there. And if you're just trying to start a business and still do um, your full-time job, whatever the case may be, just know that you don't need to be all the way official. And you can do this um, with what you got. And, um, yeah. So, just... Um, Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and holla at your girl.